Nigel Cecil, calling things out as you like it, especially for his fair-minded friends. about is thank you for joining me moi Nigel Cecil entertainment entrepreneur and regular viewers will know that whenever I use those two words entertainment entrepreneur my very good friend Hillary who is here helping me as usual thank you Hillary likes me to add the qualification entertainment entrepreneur somewhat of a legend in my own lunchtime now, some of you may be asking, why is Nigel wearing the Christmas cook hat on his head? Why? And why have we got this scene from your church, I believe, Hillary? yes, of the nativity in front of the altar? Well, this video is slightly different because we are focusing on the Christmas message. Why, you might think? Well, it's really in relation to equity, the trade union for professional actors, variety entertainers, and other creatives across the United Kingdom. And the Christmas message. Well, the real Christmas message starts in, what, less than 48 hours? on Christmas Eve. And indeed, you may be interested to know that, well, in my family, we've always celebrated Christmas in the traditional way. I indeed, when anything that looks like a Christmas card arrives, they're not opened. No, they're not open. They're put in a pile until Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Eve, we all get together to decorate the Christmas tree. And as we're decorating the Christmas tree, we open the cards and think of all those who've remembered us at Christmas with that message of Christmas, love, joy and hope. And we thank everyone for sending us those cards. And at midnight, we all go to church to think of those who sent us that message of love, joy and hope and convey that message back to them in church at midnight and then we come back home and guess what something many of you may not do we open the Christmas presents on Christmas Eve after we've come back from church it's actually into Christmas Day if you think about it and then having a few mince pies a little bit of tittle tattle to top the body <laughs> yes up well you know what I mean don't you we all retire and we dream, hopefully, of all those friends who've remembered us and love, joy and hope. And so that's for us. It is the real Christmas message. And no matter what your background are, what your religion, your ethnicity, it's all love, joy and hope can apply equally to everyone. And so my fair-minded friends, when they say this hat, because I'm accused sometimes of being a bit of a cook and stirring things up. But no, I respond to my fair-minded, equitable friends because they believe, rightly or wrongly, I try to steer the middle course, love, joy and hope, <laughs> that if they say what they really think about show business matters and policies with inequity, they may somehow get cancelled. But we're not going to discuss that now. Because if you believe in equality and fairness for everyone, then the Christmas message really is meaningful to all. Because equity, as a show business union, is a broad church. All sorts of talent and creativity come together. Not least because at any one time, some 80 odd percent or more of the equity members are out of work. They are looking for work. So they need that fellowship, that broad church with inequity. And there are those that think that with the current focus of being progressive, political and campaigning, that fellowship for the whole 47,000 members has been lost. Indeed, equity have a safe space statement. <laughs> have you got it, Hillary? Shall we just read it and think of Christmas and the Christmas message when I read this one? Thank you, Hillary. 
every single one of us working on this project, so that involves everyone in equity, is entitled to work in a safe space, a space free of fear, a space free of bullying and harassment of any kind. And we will work together, that's all the equity members will work together, honouring our differences and celebrating the gifts we each bring to the table. Now that reminds you of the visitors to the stable, gold, frankincense and myrrh, completely different. But together they brought a fellowship that meant joy, love and hope. And maybe that's what equity should be ensuring they're doing on behalf of all their members. And it goes on. We will treat one another with politeness and respect at all times. And if we are subjected to or witness bullying and harassment, we will speak out knowing that our voices will be heard and we will be taken seriously. Together, we can create a safe space. Love, joy and hope. Now, if we can enthuse that with inequity, then surely together we can all go forward helping each other. And that's why this video is something different. And in the new year, I've been sort of urged on behalf of my friends to maybe discuss some other topics. And just a little clue, there's something here which we will be talking about. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Join me please in the new year. But before we go, uh, just to echo the Christmas message, my very good friend uh, met with the Capricorn Singers. Now, they uh, are a community choir that started back in 1984, raising money for charity, for all causes. And they really do convey the spirit of Christmas. So we're going to finish off with uh, one of their hymns, Christmas carol hymns that really emphasises the meaning of Christmas. Just a little extract. So from me, until the new year, may I sincerely wish everyone a very happy Christmas. Love, joy and peace. Peace, love and joy. Merry Christmas with the Capricorn Singers. The Capricorn Singers, once in Royal David City. And Nigel Cecil Moi, wishing all of you a very happy and merry Christmas. Comfort and joy.